Hello, Info Channel lovers. Andrew Charles here, the uh, Director of the Commercial and Enterprise Business at Comp Now. I'm absolutely excited to be joined by Bruce Benny, the um, uh, Country Manager of, of Juniper Networks. Yep. Um, so, uh, look, Juniper is a, a technology that Comp Now has uh, brought into its uh, 12 pillars over the last uh, eight or nine months, and we've just seen a rapid adoption from our customers in this technology. Uh, Bruce has been with uh, Juniper for uh, about seven years now as the, the country manager. Um, Bruce, what attracted you to uh, the Juniper brand uh, and what made you jump on board with this amazing new technology? Yeah, look, uh, look, thanks Charles, and thanks for the partnership, really appreciate it. It's been a, a very, very rapid rise in terms of getting together with you guys, but it's been going, working well for us. Yeah, awesome. Um, look, I, I think I started with Juniper, and Juniper's been around here for over 25 years, and uh, known for its networking, known for its user experience. Um, we've certainly started off our business long, a long time ago in the service provider space. Yep. Um, more recently, the company has also, I guess, expanded into the enterprise space. And now the enterprise space is actually a bigger part of our network globally um, through some of the acquisitions and developments we've made. Um, we'll talk about some of those today, which I guess the misbrand is one of those we actually acquired. Yeah. Um, but look, it's been a pretty exciting ride. We, we've really changed our, our, our focus a little bit in terms of you know, dealing a lot more with end users and customers and partners like yourself. So that's been very, very beneficial to us as well. So it's been a bit of a ride, but I've really enjoyed it over the last seven years. Yeah, no, that's all. That's awesome, Bruce. And, and you, meant, you mentioned some recent acquisitions, and I guess that sort of alludes to some you know, technological advancements that Juniper's been able to bring to the market, uh, and which is, I think, one of the reasons why we're seeing Juniper now in all of uh, Gartner's magic quadrants, either visionary or leader or in the very top yep. right-hand side, which is very, very exciting. Um, before we go into that, though, let, let's, just, let's just wind back the clock and, and, and talk about the birth of Juniper, how, did, how, how Juniper came about, because I believe um, there's a, a gentleman by the name of Bob Friday, yep. uh, and, and Bob um, you know, saw a new approach to networking uh, and, and, and decided to, to, to leave uh, the Cisco mothership and, and branch out, yep. <laughs> right? And I'll mention the C word, it's probably the only time I'll mention it. Yep. Um, uh, do you want to just give us a bit of background around that and, 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 and how that sort of all occurred? Sure. Well, look, I guess we were founded in 96, right? Yeah, a well. long, long time ago. In fact, our current CEO is still with us, obviously, but he was, he was number 32 in the company. So uh, wow. certainly back, back in the day, very much a routing company, all right? Um, the Bot Friday really came through an acquisition of Mist, which we made about four or five years ago. Yeah, right. Okay, wow. which these guys started the company in 2014. They were actually funded by Cisco and Google, Gosh. all right? Um, obviously, uh, through that process, we ended up acquiring that company. Um, this is where the birth of Mist and the AI engine really came from. Um, we acquired the company not just for a Wi-Fi access point technology, we really acquired the company for the AI intelligence they brought us. All right, so that not only drives our Wi-Fi solution, it also drives every other platform that we're working with as well. Well, we'll talk more about full stack. Um, instead of just being a Wi-Fi solution, it actually also manages our switches um, and now recently manages our SD-WAN solution as well. Yeah, wow. All right. Okay. So it really is, is going to be very pervasive because AI is a pervasive technology, as we know. Yeah. Um, but we're really using it now to drive all of our investments and all of our technologies across the board. Awesome. Juniper. So the brand, the Juniper brand has been around a lot longer than I obviously was aware of. Yes. You know, I think, I think the, the missed acquisition sort of taken the game to a, a whole new level. I think the whole thing around AI has been very topical. I mean, yeah. everyone talks about the hype of AI. Yes. I think what we're doing is taking that, um, I'll call it a vision as opposed to hype because it really was a vision that we had and turned it into, into usable outcomes for the customer. Yes. All right. and, and I guess use cases is what, is what driving the AI world. Yes. Uh, people talk about ChatGPT. That's a very recent development. It's made it more public and over, you know, top line with people's minds. Yep. We started this journey, or I guess Miss started this journey back in 2014. Mm. All right, so that makes a lot of difference when you're talking about how long we've been in this game, right? A lot of our you know, competitors, and I won't use that word either, um, <laughs> talk about AI and it's, it's a lot of PowerPoint stuff. I think what we're seeing is actually a practical application of the technology that we've got. Yeah, and that, and that generative AI that you speak about with ChatGPT, I believe that Juniper's gone down a similar path with Marvis. Correct. Yeah, but Mar Marvis is really a, an AI-driven agent that we have. So effectively, yep. um, and I think it's the only one in the world currently that does this. So instead of actually going through a whole bunch of scripts and, you know, you can actually physically ask the, the AI agent exactly, you know, what's wrong with my network today? Who is having challenges with my network? Um, and it'll actually tell you back in common language what's going on, right? So what it really is designed to do to get ahead of the problem before it becomes a call to the help desk. And what we're seeing because of that is a lot of our customers are dropping the number of help desk tickets by about 90%. Wow. All right, so it's really a proactive way of saying to the users, 
I mean, I know what's going on with your network. I see what's actually happening within your network through the visibility, and I'll get ahead of that problem before it becomes a real problem. That's awesome. So compared to uh, traditional networking vendors that are using sort of you know, more legacy or, or older architecture, mm -hmm. um, you know, operationally, which you just mentioned, Bruce, that there are potentially huge savings for businesses to look at the Juniper technology in relation to the amount of staff that are required to manage a network. Absolutely, I think you know if you really look at it, this is a complete architectural change. Yeah, it's not just a, an add-on or a bolt-on. This is actually a completely new architecture that we've got. Yeah. it's driven out of the cloud. Yep. All right, we have no on-prem controllers, which has been a hindrance for a lot of the current providers that are out there. Making that architectural change is a massive issue yeah. to do that. Right, so we've already made that change. Okay, and that's why we've got a significant advantage over everybody else in the marketplace at the moment. That's awesome. And look, that's certainly one of the reasons, or one of the main reasons why uh, CompNow has jumped at uh, Juniper Networks is, is because of uh, how far advanced um, you know, Juniper's AI is across its entire stack. Um, let's just quickly um, touch on um, Fabric, yep. right? Because not only do you play well in the cloud, but you also play very, very well on the campus yep. uh, in, in relation to uh, you know, unifying you know, multiple networking protocols across very complex campus environments. You know, let's yep. talk about universities and hospitals. Um, you know, can we talk about some of, the, um, some of the future vision that we're seeing from Juniper around the Fabric solution and, and where you see that uh, heading over the next sort of three to five years, Bruce? Sure, I, I think I talked about full stack, all right? So yeah. effectively AI is not really as effective in, in silos. You need to actually apply that across your, your entire network. So we started off with the Wi-Fi side of it. Uh, all of our switching portfolio now is managed, all right, and uses AI for it as well. Yeah, well. Our ST WAN solution now is also driven by the Mist AI cloud. Other things we're working on will also be using elements of that with it as well. All right, so effectively we've got a common platform and a common AI base to work from, right? And gathering all that data in the network is critical because the more data we have about your network, the better we're gonna be at troubleshooting, finding out things and being pr productive as opposed to being reactive in responding to our customer needs. And that's really what's driving a lot of our investments at the moment is that focus. And I bet um, not just CIOs but CISOs love that story because mm -hmm there's a great connection there between you know, network security environments, uh, you know, your, your firewalls and your traditional networking switches and cores. Yep. Um, and uh, you know, Juniper has, has really, uh, I guess, made that integration quite easy. It has. I think what we're seeing is um, you know, security teams and networking teams used to be quite separate in organisations. They, were, they, were sort of, you know, they weren't talking to each other. We're seeing a lot more of these two teams emerging together because the network is a security issue, right? Unless you have security across your network, everything in your network, then you can get breached, right? And we've seen recently how that uh, can affect a lot of businesses. It's quite critical. So we are now looking at seeing a lot, of, a lot of organizations are actually looking at the network in its entirety, right? As a connected security, which is what we talk about yeah. from end to end. Yeah. Okay, and that's exactly where we're going with that as well. Yeah, well, I guess, you know, with cybersecurity being you know, such a critical concern, um, how does Juniper prioritize and integrate security measures within its networking solutions. Okay, so we, we obviously have a security portfolio within our business as well. Yeah. Okay, so that obviously is um, a standalone firewall business, which we actually sell a lot of firewalls today. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in other areas of our business, our SD-WAN solution, for example, with our smart, our smart routing technology there, that's also another area which we're putting a lot of security capabilities within that as well. So all the areas we're, we're thinking about at the moment has an element of security built into that as well. Okay, uh, our cloud NAC, which obviously is part of that overall miss solution, is another area yeah, right. where security is going to be quite pervasive for us. No, that's that's it's 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 it's, it's super exciting. Mm -hmm. um, I guess when you look at your customer base, you, you, you're growing in in the enterprise. Mm -hmm. um, how does Juniper interact with its customer base in in relation to sort of gathering feedback that potentially you know, helps the customer shape the design of their network, yep. uh, but also uh, you know guide Juniper as well on, on what the market actually wants. Sure. Look, I think I mentioned earlier, we're, we're very much an engineering company, yeah. all right? So we do listen to our customers, take feedback from our customers all the time about where they're going, where the market's going, and we align ourselves to that. Um, you know, we have a lot of forums through our partners like yourselves. So that information coming back to us is quite critical for us to, to look at reshaping and redesigning some of our products for future needs. Um, and that's really quite an active program we have with all of our customers, big and small. Right. That's great. You mentioned partners. Yep. Um, what attracted you to Comp, comp Now, Bruce? I, you. I know. <laughs> good, good on you, mate. Thank you. Uh, look, look, look. We, we, we like to certainly um, you know, put ourselves out there at, at Comp Now. You know, we like to think. Um, you know, we, we, we play with uh, you know, organisations that are at the you know, bleeding edge of technology, and, mm -hmm. and Juniper certainly fits the bill in, in what is a very 
uh, competitive um, networking landscape at the moment. There are so many solutions and, and providers out there. And, and from our perspective, you know, we, we took Juniper on because we just saw levels of innovation that, that other uh, networking vendors just aren't offering at the moment, yep. um, which is very exciting to us, as well as, um, you know, um, th 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 there's a very, uh, very nice channel program that you guys have set up. So yeah, I think for us, Bruce, you know, with Juniper in particular, you know, we've got a very large sales team, as you know, and mm. it's it's onwards and upwards in that um, you know, ability to skill up our, our sellers and our pre-sales resources mm -hmm. to offer more services around the Juniper stack. Yeah. Um, just on services, how well supported is Juniper in the back end? What happens when things go pear-shaped? <laughs> Okay, so we've got about 100 people here in Australia and New Zealand. Yep. Before I get onto that, I'll talk, I'll talk about why we selected Comp Now and one of the reasons why we, we, we like you guys. I guess we're looking for people who are challengers, yep. right? Who, who look at innovation, see the innovation, um, and, and take a bet. And I think you've taken a bet on Juniper, the right bet, I, I believe, because we are innovative, we are changing the marketplace, we're looking for change agents, right, in, the, in there. We don't look for people who are just going to do the same old thing. Yes. Those sort of resellers really don't work for us. No. All right, people who are going to challenge what the customer is looking at, give them some innovation. I think that's exactly why we've approached with you guys, because you've got that approach to your customers, right? So like you're saying, try it. I always say to people, if you don't believe the hype, that's fine, try it. Yeah. Test it, do a proof of concept, you'll see the results. And you'll see customers here and overseas see those results. So it's always a risk taking on a new vendor. It always is, right? Yeah, yeah. So test it, prove it, talk to our customers, right? And that's a really good way of finding out that this actually is a safe bet. Well, we, well it's, it's, I'm glad you mentioned that because we've, we've, we've done that, we've taken it on, um, we've, we've had some great recent wins in the local government space, mm -hmm. uh, in the retail space and in the education space. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, we certainly see Juniper as a great fit literally across just about any vertical. Yeah. Um, are there any key verticals that stick out for you, Bruce, um, where, where, where customers should absolutely be exploring the MIST AI and, and, and the Juniper technology? Sure. I think, you know, we, we, we've grown up building very large, complex, critical networks. We know service providers pedigree is that area. Um, where we're seeing MIST very successful is where there are large operational teams, large customers, you know, universities, banks, the top end of town, very yeah. much so. But I think it's also something that's quite pervasive coming down to the lower end as well. Um, the problem we have in Australia, obviously, is you know, people are hard to find, they're expensive, all right, so the more I can operationalise for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's right. so, so the more I can save on that, the more I can use those resources to do more effective things in my business. That's actually a win-win for both organisations. So the one thing we're finding is large organisations now who are using it, their help desk tickets have dropped, you know, 80, 90 percent by, by deploying MIST. We've seen that, right, in real life. Um, that goes straight to the bottom line, goes straight to the number of people you need to support that, and that turns into I can actually go do more things with the people that I've got. Right, so those sort of customers are the ones we profile and we do very well in. That's awesome. And so yeah. it's a huge um, issue in the market at the moment, fi is. finding resources. And, and, and you know, if Juniper can come on board you know, with CompNow and, and, and help you as a, an organisation uh, you know, minimise that operational overhead to run either you know, a very complex fabric network at a, at a hospital or a bank or a university, for example, um, and, and free up those resources to, to, to move on to other uh, you know, innovative parts of your business, then, then, then happy days. Um, Bruce, look, last question. Um, what is your big ticket item that you want to see Juniper achieve over the next 12 to 18 months? Um, look, I, I think obviously growth is, 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 you know, something we're all looking for as a business, all right? Certainly growth in certain verticals and areas. Um, I think that uh, we've, we've set our task, a pretty good task next year, to, to grow our business by about 30%. Um, people like yourself and, and company are going to help us do that. I think our absolutely, partner community absolutely. is yep. growing day by day, which is fantastic. We've got some fantastic wins, some fantastic reference customers out there that you can leverage, yeah. right, when you're talking to other customers as well. So, yeah, I think there's nothing but upside for us at Juniper uh, come next year and beyond. Awesome. Well, look, it's a certainly a very exciting partnership for, for us, Bruce. So mm -hmm. I thank you thank so you. much for, for coming in today and, and having a chat with me. My pleasure. Um, CompNow provides IT custom built for your needs. If you would like to know more about what we spoke about today, please get in touch with your CompNow account manager or email us at info at compnow.com.au. Thanks guys and have a great day. Thank you.